I'm Rick Barclay, and I'm with Piano Clubhouse, and today we're going to learn the song Battle Hymn of the Republic. Um, it is written by Julia Howe and John Stepp, um, a, cl a classic, if you will, of uh, inspirational type music. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive in, get started. It's in the key of B flat. B flat is this B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. Okay, uh, it is in 4 4. However, it starts on a pickup notes on count four. Um, so, also known as anacrusis. So any of you who have listened to my videos and we've had any pickup measures always kind of refer to that um, official name, if you will, anacrusis, better known as pickup notes or pickup measure. Okay, meaning that it's an incomplete, it's not starting on one, but it's either it's two, three, or four, or, you know, depending upon the time signature where it occurs. Okay. <clears throat> so it is in 4-4, four, four, so this means it starts on count 4. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you the melody first, and then uh, we'll add some chords, and probably deal with the harmony part aspect, um, because the right hand is very important with the two-part harmony that's, that's happening, so I may show that before I really get into adding the left hand. Okay, so again, it starts on count 4, starts on the F, So that's the refrain or verses, and then it gets into the uh, chorus after that. So um, let's talk about the notes now. So it's F on count four, and then F's, E flat, D, F, B flat, C, D, C, B flat. Okay, then count four is B flat again, A, G, 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 A, B flat, a, B flat, G, F, G, F, D, F. Okay, now count four again, starting on F. F's, down E flat, D, F, B flat, C, D, C, B flat, B flat, C, C, B flat, A, B flat. Okay, and then the chorus part is this. So the chorus, Glory Glory, is F, E flat, D, F, B flat, C, D, B flat, G, A, B flat, A, B flat, G, F, D, F, E flat, D, F, B flat, C, D, B flat, B flat, C's, B flat, A, B flat. Okay, uh, so that's the melody. Uh, rhythmically, it um, I'm kind of doing it in a swingy sensation, um, triplet style, and it's kind of a shuffle, if you will. One, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three. Now, some people will play a little bit straighter and stricter to where it's a sixteenth note feel, so it's a dotted eighth note sixteenth, so it'll feel like something like this. more of your classical uh, symphonic renditions, you'll hear it in that very strict, um, stringent 16th manner. Um, I'm going to be showing you in the triplet form, uh, mainly how I kind of perform it when I do this song. Okay, so now um, I told you that it has some harmony happening with it, so let's, let's deal with that. Um, because the way you end up fingering things is going to be really important to do this harmony, okay? So it's a D and an F, count four. So it does it again. And then on the E flat melody, we do a harmony with the C. Now 
to B flat and D, D and F, F and a B flat, C, B flat and the thumb. Now the melody goes up to the D and we're going to stay on that F. Once the melody goes down to the C, we're going to add the E flat and D. Okay, so let's do that again. Four, one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three. Okay, now when you come up to this part right here, sometimes I'll add the, the B flat in the middle of that, just fill out the chord. And then fill in with the, the F. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, now coming to the next aspect, count four, F and the B flat. Hang on to that F as you go down with the melody and the A. So now this is off of an E flat triad, E flat chord, so it's E flat and G. Now it's going up to an A and an F. And then the B flat's the melody and the G. Back and forth. And then to the E flat and the G. Now to a B flat triad. When I say triad, I mean it's based off of a B flat chord, but these melodies are weaving in and out, so the harmony is going to be weaving out. Uh, when we add the left hand, you're going to see that it's going to be based off of the B flat. So D, E flat, D, B flat, D. And again, that's the harmony part. Stay on the D's. C, B flat, D, F. Basically like what we did before. Same moment as before. Here's where it's different. So now it's the G and the C is the melody. And then you hold on to that again for the next count. And then um, F and B flat, E flat, and the A, and then the D. Now sometimes I will add the, going back to that uh, part, his truth is, I'll add the E flat down here because it's a C minor triad over E flat. And then it's a B flat over F when we get to this part. And then F7. So add that C. So you can see I'm filling out the chord a little bit more other than that just two part harmony I was showing you. Okay, now to the chorus glory glory part. Okay, so that's D, C, B flat, D, D, E flat, F. Thank you.